Cyberox. Yo, what's up, Cyberox here. Today we are going to be talking about <coughs> escape sequences. Escape sequences. Escape. Escape sequences. No, I'm kidding. Alright, let's go ahead and get down to it. Um, what are escape sequences? Um, kind of interesting to explain. It's a matter of two little uh, characters, and that's it. The two little characters can actually do a lot. And this may actually help you out. So, let's go ahead and get to it, shall we? Load up my dev C over here. Uh, over here. Over here. Uh, uh, no, Alright. Right. <coughs> now. Uh, let's go ahead and start with some <coughs> basic escape sequences because um, that's all I know and I don't think there's any more. Alright, so let's go ahead and do the uh, beep, right? It's where it makes a beep, pretty much. So exciting! <laughs> now let's go ahead and see out. Now we're just going to see out. Uh, just a regular. Delio and L. Alright. Now, we're gonna go ahead and type in Did you hear a. Oops. Damn it. Uh, it's trying to mess me up. Okay. Now, did you hear a. Alright, now this is where we're gonna add the beep. Do it in double quotations, please. And uh, what you want to do is um, uh, back, backslash, backslash a. Sorry, I got that confused with forward slash or backslash. So um, you want to do a backslash a. Now, if you go and run this just like it is, you will hear the beep. I'm going to go and run it. I'm not sure if y'all will hear it. So bear with me, I guess. Um, good luck, I guess. I don't know. Whoops, accidentally paused the video, hit the wrong key. Have to come down here, execute. Compile and run. I'm not sure if y'all heard that, it went beep. So, yeah. Uh, on your computer, you should be able to hear it just fine. If you do the uh, backslash A. Now, in order to actually make any escape sequence real, you have to put it in double quotation. Uh, which, <coughs> which I'm going to be doing another one about double quotation because you can actually add double quotation in your text as well now what I mean by that you're probably thinking well duh that's how you make the you know text or the string well yeah but real quick I'm gonna test you go ahead and type in did you hear a dog but put the dog in double quotations and see what you get guarantee you it ain't gonna work but I will give you the answer to that in just a minute However, we're going to discuss another escape key. <coughs> Let's go and get rid of this. And just put, um, any. Some odd reason. Now, we're going to discover the new line. Alrighty. Now, we're going to put just a backslash in. And we can actually go ahead and get rid of the end line. Now, just to prove so. Um, just to add a little more pizzazz, if you will. Let's go and put, hi mom, I'm on TV, alright, but just hi mom, alright, now look, whenever we run this, it's going to put any on the top, right, and then right below it, it's going to be hi mom, now the backslash end L is right over here, it makes a new line, kind of like end L, but, um, but yeah, let's go and run, compile and run it, execute, compile and run, there we go, it says any, Hi mom, press any key to continue. Now, to make it a wee bit more effective, you can actually add it within a string itself. Now, if we come over here to execute, compile, and run, it would do any hi mom, press any key to continue. Only with the use of the NL, or backslash L, N, my bad. So you put the backslash and you put the N, but in the way I'm looking at the camera looks like a force. Alright, but there you go. Right here. Sorry, the webcam threw me off, man. Put the backslash, right? I really hope this looks like a backslash and not a forward slash, y'all. 
They should. Anyways, put a back <laughs> backslash and put the in, right? And you'll basically, it's kind of like putting C out in line. So I'm actually going to be using this a lot more in my code. Uh, it's sufficient, easy, less typing. And it's really nice. They always say the easiest route's the one with less stuff in it, I believe. I think that's how it goes. I don't know. Alright. But there we go. We just discovered the new line escape sequence. Really nice, really cool, and it helps a lot. Alright, I'm going to be using that a lot. Now I'm coming down here to see how. Alright. Oops, sorry. That right there is kind of like the new end L. <coughs> really nice. Really helpful, too. Now, let's go ahead and discover the single quote. Single quote. No. <laughs> the single quote key, which is also a backslash and a single quote. Now, this kind of comes in hand with the double quote, so I'm not going to do this just yet. Um, let's go ahead and move on to the backslash, which is the same key. Basically, you just do that two times, and whenever you um, compile and run it, oops, forgot the little semicolon. Whenever you compile and run it, as you see, you have a backslash uh, right there. Now, why is that important? I wouldn't know. Maybe you need it for a program. <coughs> beats me. I'm just trying to teach you what I know. Now let's go and go on to the uh, backspace which is you know backslash B and it does a backspace. Now real quick <coughs> let's go ahead and see out some other stuff. We're gonna put um, actually I'm gonna teach you another one real quick. You double quotation and that double quotation put backslash T. Alrighty now backslash T means um, you know tab. If you hit the tab key, it goes five spaces, right? So, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and go ahead and let's go ahead and get rid of this, or not necessarily rid of it, but we kind of don't want it right now. So we'll just comment that out. Now we'll go to execute compile, and we have a wee problem. Okay, yeah, let's just go take it out then. Take it out. Alright, um, go to execute, compile, and run. And as you see, it says, hi, mom, right? But in a big space. And that's because of the new line. But let's go ahead and do some more stuff. So it's just to make it clear. Whatever here, right? And over here, we'll do another whatever. Alrighty, now if we execute compile and run, see, you have your blah 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 here, and you have a tab which is right here, right? And now you have this again. That's what the backslash T does, which again means tab. It puts uh, five spaces, right? So now let's copy this code, so it's kind of like a before and after. Let's come down, let's paste it, but this time, keep the tab, but let's put a backslash B, not lowercase, or lowercase only. Now, we will execute, compile, and run. And as you see, that actually worked, dude, that's awesome. <laughs> I mean, of course it worked. Anyways, as you see, um, right here it it's not as far it's actually a little bit this way that's because the backslash B erased it in a way it, it took off it took off one space now as you see how the S is over here and the other S is <clears throat> on top right so if you were to delete behind the S it would be just like it is so that right there kind of like explains that this takes one space off or it deletes one back. Alrighty, now we're going to leave that there. Now we are going to discover the exclamation mark. Now, <clears throat> again, I do not see how this is helpful, but you know, it's a video, so whatever. 
No, we'll put, did you see my, and don't be thinking dirty, dog, but we'll have backslash exclamation mark. Um, again, I do not know how this is helpful, but we'll go ahead and do it anyways. Now it says, did you see my, and it goes space, dog, right? And I see it has the uh, exclamation mark. I mean, quotation mark. My bad. Wait. Question. Question mark. Sorry, I'm a little... Uh, just very, very confusing. Won't work. Alright. Anyways, uh, again, I don't see how that is sufficient. I don't see how that helps, but it's just a neat trick. But really, you can just add a question mark right there and just, I mean, compile it and run it. And still comes out the same I just took away the space um, <clears throat> again I don't see how it helps but sure enough it does now let's go ahead and move on to the other stuff I was talking about like a gangster all right um now let's come down here let's go ahead and paste it again right and we'll come over here all right now this is where the double quotations come in I was wanting to save this because I like this one, and it really says, hold up, wait a minute, let me put some breach in there. Alright, so let's go ahead and get down to it, okay? Um, let's go ahead and type in, that guy is, alright, now, if we put um, double quotations right here, and in the middle, if we put what he is, right, and, uh, you know, it comes out black, meaning it's not going to be part of the code. You know, because, like, if you compile and run it right now, it errors out, right? But if you take off one quotation, or both the quotations, you compile and run it, it will come out to be like it is, but no double quotation. Now, this is where it comes in handy because it actually works, and that's why I had you previously try it yourself and see if you came up with anything to work it. Put a backspace, double quotation, and then do it, and as you see now, it's double quoted, which is really nice and does come in handy. So, you know, it says that guy, da, 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 there you go, but it's in double quotation which is really cool you know so it's kind of a neat trick you know, a neat gamble if your friends are starting to get used to C++ but they don't know this kind of make a best say hey put that word in double quotation marks I bet you can do it you know hey man my thing getting all ghetto but anyways that's how to add a double quotation which you really can't do it unless you know you know the escape sequence which is really cool and also you can do it just with a single. That's why I couldn't really get into the single because it would kind of ruin the whole surprise on the double quotation. So let's go over here, execute, compile, and run. And as you see, it now has a single quotation. So that has been all the uh, <coughs> all the escape keys that I or escape sequence, the actual proper name for it that I know. Um, sorry, kids in the background. Is annoying. Anyways, um, that's about all the uh, escape sequence I know of, and uh, I believe that is actually all the escape keys in general. If not, please let me know so I can recover more. And I am sorry for the ghetto look, but um, anyways, that's all the escape keys. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm sorry it was so long; I didn't even think it would be, but we covered quite a lot. We covered we covered the sound beep the new line, the single quote, the backslash, the backspace, the tab, the double quote, and the quotation, uh, question mark, quotation, jeez, question, quotation, anyways, we covered the question mark, which I don't see how that's beneficiary at all, but eh, it works, so anyways, thank you for watching this video, as always, have a good day, and God bless, and hope you enjoyed this video, also, I kind of hope I know I did not offend anybody. Goodbye. Man, that video was hard. Dang it.
can't take this off.